Hey guys, and welcome back to Story of Seasons. It is uh, Sunday, and we're gonna go visit Nadi, and I have the ring in my pocket. I've been doing this for a while now, because you have to give them, I think, 100 gifts before they will do the confession to you instead of you giving them the ring. They'll give you the ring. So, that is what we are going for. <gasps> finally! It took forever. We finally did it. It's amazing. Jeez, do you always have to pop up out of the woodwork like that? And how'd you know to get here right when I finally made up my mind? Because I'm good like that. Uh, by which I mean, we need to talk. I wasn't expecting to do this so soon, but hey, an opportunity is an opportunity, right? So soon, boy? Boy? This is not soon at all. Here isn't the best place, though. Come on, follow me. Ooh, where are we going? What could be better than your bedroom? We're going to the bridge at, like, late at night. You'd have realized that, well, that I don't mind hanging out with you. In fact, I like it. A lot. First, I had no idea why you kept bothering to come see me so much. But then I started to notice that I was actually anticipating your arrival every time. And that's when it hit me. Gita, I'm in love with you. I want you to go out with me and, um, be my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, I'll go out with you. Look, I have a ring. It's as big as your face. Really? You will? Wow. I'm really, really happy right now. Thanks, Kita. Lovers! Huh? Nicknames? What about them? Whatever. If you want to change what we call each other, that's fine by me. Just don't make it anything weird, okay? Six letters is not that much. I don't know, he doesn't seem like a honey kind of person. He seems more of a babe kind of person, don't you think? I don't really think he's a honey kind of person. Okay, we're gonna go with babe because... Yeah, there's not enough letters to do anything, like, creative or interesting. And I don't think he's a honey kind of person. Yes. Okay, babe, it is. I, uh, I'm looking forward to us being, uh, you know. Man, I'm really not cut out for this kind of thing. Sure you are. Anyway, I gotta get going. See ya, babe. <gasps> Love! Adorable. And it put us right back in the house, so I don't even have to, like, walk here, which is nice. So we finally got the reverse confession. So, now we need to see the other heart events. So we have a yellow one and a pink one, I'm pretty sure. But then we're also gonna go for the reverse marriage proposal. So I think I have to give 150 gifts total. Um, I'll double check that, but I'm pretty sure. So what I'm gonna do, okay. So, Naughty likes fish feed, which is something that I can get a lot of. Grass drink, although that's his favorite, I can't really get a lot of that because I don't have the recipe. But, what I can do, somebody actually suggested this. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of fodder. Someone suggested putting 50... Fifty gifts that you're gonna give that person in your bag and just keep it in there and that way you actually have a counter So every time I give him some fish feed, I will know that I am getting closer Wait, where's there? So as I give him one like every day, it'll keep going down and Then I'll be able to see exactly how much I have left. So I think that was a really good idea I think it's 50. It's either 50 or 30. I'm gonna double check and then I'll let you guys know. But that is on the schedule. And that would put us... Uh, 
almost into winter for the wedding, I think. If I was able to give him a gift every day. Just about. So, we will continue our pirate pursuit very soon. Oh, something is happening. Uh, Kita, could I ask you to wait a moment? I guess so. How to propose? Hmm. You are a small child. Oh, I'm sorry I surprised you, Kita. Well, you were creeping outside my house. Thank goodness, I feel so much better now. Okay. Oh, that's right. I came here because I have a goddessly duty to perform. So, Kita, it looks like everything's coming up roses with you and your sweetheart, mm-hmm. Why are you, uh... How do you know that? Wonderful, wonderful. That's great to hear. Now, I'm here today to teach you all about the time-honored art of proposing. Um, I'm still catching up on the intricacies of it myself, but I'll do my very bestest to teach you everything I know. Okay... Okay, so you'll need three things to make your proposal a smashing success. A renovated house, a close relationship, and a blue feather. Okay. Let's start with the renovated house, hmm? Welp, your current house is big enough. Gotta have that extra space because your spouse will be moving in with you. Okay, so there you go. You do not need the biggest house to get married. She just said this size house is okay, so we can put that rumor to rest. For sure, right now. Uh, you only need this house. I think this is the decent house. I don't remember what it was called. But there's one more upgrade, which is, like, the two-story house. And I'm pretty sure that's only there for kids. Like, you only have to have that upgrade if you're, like, that just has to do with having kids. But if you're just getting married, you only need this house. So, just putting it out there. Next, you have to have a very close relationship, of course. When you talk with your sweetheart, note the color of the flower in the corner. If it's red, you're on the express train to Passionville. You're like five. Please don't use words like that. Lastly, you'll need a blue feather. In this town, it's a long-standing custom to give a blue feather to your sweetheart when you propose. When the time is right, you'll find blue feathers for sale in the general store. They're probably already for sale. When you buy one, it's a good idea to keep it with you in your bag so you don't miss your chance to propose. Alright. If you want your partner to propose to you, it's important to really nurture their feelings for you. You could, uh, give them presents. That's it. Everybody likes presents. Try giving them lots and lots of presents. There you go, kids. That's how you get people to love you. Give them presents. Nothing else matters. If you've set their heart on fire, they may pop the question to you one day. And, um, I think that's everything. Well, my work here is done. Good luck and goddess speed! Wow, thank you for that. Because I couldn't have figured that out on my own. Anyway, I did check and you need to have given your lover 150 gifts for them to do the proposal for you. So, I have in my bag 50 pieces of fish feed, which Naughty likes. You also have to give them 30 of their favorite gift, which for Naughty is grass drink. And I know that I've already given him that many. So... I'm not worried about that, but yeah, I'm just going to keep this in here so that I can actually see how long it's going to take before, like, so that I can monitor how many gifts I've given him, because to get the reverse ring confession, you need to have given them a hundred gifts. So we'll be able to actually see how close we are to getting that reverse proposal. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Short and sweet, but with lots of love. In the next one, uh, we'll hopefully... Something else will be happening. Either, uh, hopefully a naughty event, or maybe, uh, Ice Country. I'm getting very close to unlocking Ice Country, as I've said previously. So, hopefully, one of those <laughs> things will happen very shortly. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you fancy. But thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.